Okay guys, uh, I'm going to do a little video here uh, for another tuber. Um, he's uh, got a snapper. Um, you, you know who you're talking about. Rewire or Raywire or something. Um, I'm not very good with names, guy. Um, but uh, you'll know who you're talking or who I'm talking about. But uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you the parts one that I have. It may have a similar problem as what you have because it's got the same side of the case out. I've seen your video that you just posted and um, it's got the same side apart. you got your chain case in the middle. And then on the, uh, the one side has all your gears and stuff in there and uh, may have a similar problem. Um, it may have a small piece or something in there that you might need. Um, let me know. And then I'll, I'll tell you um, about the other transmission that I have also. So uh, let me get this stuff out here and kind of show you what I got. Okay, so this is the transmission. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, this gear is bad. There's three more gears that goes on here. Small ones are only, you know, about that big. And they're like five bucks a piece on eBay. Um, at least they were about six months ago. They might have went up a little bit. But they go in here. And um, this is supposed to be teeth, you know, like this. And they're completely wore off of there. Um, that was the problem with this one. But that shaft is about $60. And I ended up buying a whole nother lawnmower and pulling the transmission out of that and stuffed it in this one. Okay, so that was the main problem. Um, some more parts and pieces in here. This around like here. See, these are those gears I was talking about. Um, one of these that I have has a chip out of the tooth. Um, not sure which one it is, but um, there's another part of a chain that's from in there. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to find one with a chip out of it. There it is. This one's got a chip out the side of it. It could probably be used, but um, I probably wouldn't use it. Because um, these things go in there like that it's got this piece in there and they just kind of float in there um, and transfer the power over to this chain and then it goes down um, uh, through this gear and into that assembly over here and then across because there's a chain that's inside of there and a chain on the outside um, and this is out of um, this SRM 140 this model right here okay but I've actually took the transmission that was in my parts mower, which is the one that's back here, and bolted it into it. There was one little bracket that I had to change to uh, to put that in there. So hold on here, let me move some shit and I'll show you. All I did with the one that I had was basically just take it out and put this other one in and it bolt, bolted right in. Every, all the bolts lined up except for one thing. I had one little bracket on it um, that I took off of the other transmission and put on here for the, uh, for the clutch on it. Um, it's got, I don't know how good you'll be able to see it because I'm in the dark here. Um, this bracket right here is from the other transmission. And I had to bend it and make it so that way this cable came across. And it's for the brake to actually stop it. Okay, but everything else, it's got, you know, the boots are okay. They're not great. Um, let me get a flashlight here or something so you guys can see. So i got a big light over here. Like I was saying, um, this bracket is not supposed to be here. And uh, this doesn't have a soft start clutch in it. Um, if you know anything about the snappers, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, it's off of that other mower, so when you go to take off, you have to be a little easy with it. Um, I don't know if a soft start will come off of that other one and fit on here or not. I don't know. But um, it's actually still in the mower. The mower runs, everything works on it, and this has a 12.5 Briggs on it. Um, but this, like I said, the whole assembly comes out of there, and it's it's fully completed there. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's something you're interested in on that. Um, shipping from here to, to where you are might be a little expensive, but um, I, I figure, you know, get with me, hit me up with a PM, and um, I'll let you know. Uh, being you are a uh, you know, fellow YouTuber, I'll give you a little better deal than what I would locally, because um, I want a little more for it if I'm doing local here, because uh, it's the way it works, you know that. But, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, like I said, if you're interested in something off the little pieces there that I got, you know, it's the stuff that's just sitting here. So, you know, you just pay the shipping on it and I'll send a little crap to you if you want it. Um, you know, I'll box it all up and send it all to you. Um, all that little stuff, those gears and stuff that's in there. Uh, I could probably put it, I don't know if it would fit in a small flat rate, but it would fit in the bigger one. There's like 12 or 13 bucks or something like that to, uh, to ship it in a small flat rate or the medium flat rate. So, um, yeah, that's about what I have for now. Um, 
don't think I have anything that apart from that in here. But uh, yeah, like I said, that's off of um, the SRM 12. Hold on here, the yeah, SRM 140. That transmission, and that's very similar to what you have because it has the uh, the steering wheel, not the handlebars. Um, so some of the parts from that may fit in your transmission, just depending on what you got bad. If that main shaft is bad, like I said, they're about 80 bucks or 90 bucks on eBay. And uh, I don't know how much that transmission weighs because, of course, it's in the in the mower there. But I quoted a guy. Um, I'm trying to remember. I actually quoted 100 pounds to ship it to him, and it was only like 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks or something like that to ship it. Um, the biggest thing is the size of this, because of the size that it is. Um, so it's probably roughly the same size as what I was going to ship him, but it may be a little wider. Um, but yeah, it can't, can't be too horribly expensive. But um, yeah, bud, um, get with me and let me know. Um, I can't take that out until, until somebody actually wants it. But uh, get with me and let me know. Because that mower that I had took it out of was a running, driving mower too. But this one was in better shape than the other one. Because um, uh, this snapper, they have the tubes on it like this one. Okay, So this is my snapper. It has eight horse on it. Um, this bracket that runs down in here. Okay, There's a bracket that's across here. And it's completely busted off in the other one. And uh, this dude that I got it from, he didn't weld it. He put a basically a piece of plumber strap across the front of it and, and screwed it in to keep the front end from falling off of it um, so and she was in a little a little rougher shape than this one here um, than that that better one so um, yeah guys uh, let me know if you want something there off of that because like I said I don't know what shipping would be on it but it wouldn't take me a little bit to get it out and um, find out exactly but uh yeah I'm kind of rambling now so I'm gonna get off here and mess around out here